Thank you for visiting Litson.com and for the opportunity to unveil for you Winnebago's flagship diesel pusher, the Winnebago Grand Tour 42 QL, here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago, Itasca, and Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries right here in Forest City, Iowa, and recently named by the manufacturer, Winnebago Industries, as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all three divisions, the Winnebago, Itasca, and Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award now for back-to-back -back consecutive years. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Freightliner Cummins investment in accordance with the way Winnebago Industries, Freightliner, and Cummins outline inside their owner's manuals, in which there certainly is a definitive break-in procedure in which they recommend, if possible, no towing for the first thousand miles and varying your speeds to break in and seat those cylinders in that Cummins ISL big block, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealer. Be the first to break in and protect that Cummins ISL, sleep that first night in your new Grand Tour and eat that first meal in your 42 QL here at Litson RV. As Winnebago Industries moves diesel pusher production out to Junction City, Oregon, there will be a limited supply of diesel pushers between now and early winter. We here at Litson RV have purchased the balance of Grand Tour 42 QL inventory, so you'll want to hurry in for best selection of colors and content. We've ordered this coach factory fresh in the Beechwood exterior premium full body base coat clear coat automotive finish which includes the additional clear coat layers compared to the Tour and Ellipse. This Winnebago Grand Tour is identical to any of the Ellipse Ultras that you may see out in the marketplace, all the way down to features, quality, content, price, and colors. We can provide you that unbiased opinion because we do offer both the Ellipse and this, the Grand Tour. This coach is powered by the tried and true Cummins ISL 8.9 liter big block turbo diesel platform which includes the latest and greatest in performance technology from Winnebago Industries and Freightliner. It does include the side radiator technology, the ultra steer passive rear tag axle, ZF independent front suspension, as well as V-Ride technology. We'll cover all of that as we get towards the rear of the coach. Up front here, you'll find the largest, tallest, one-piece panoramic windshield in the industry. Winnebago then, of course, then invests in the largest in three-foot wiper blades to provide maximum coverage of that expansive front windshield. You can see the front camera for the Mobileye Collision Avoidance System, which is standard on the Grand Tour and Ellipse Ultra. It's optional on the Tour and Ellipse. Of course, we include the invisible front protective clear mask over all of the vertical surfaces in the front of this 42 QL. Just behind this front facade is where you'll find the Cummins Onan 10,000 watt quiet diesel generator that sips fuel off of the top three quarters of the 150 gallon fuel cell. It also extends out on a powered slide out tray for ease of maintenance and ease of checking out hours, although we have the hour meter inside. Up front, we include LED rope lighting, the largest in side mirrors as well. We'll cover that in detail here in a moment. We've also added the taller 11 inch stainless steel premium balance alongside the side in comparison to the four inch that's included on the tour. There you can see the chrome tipped exhaust for that Cummins Onan 10,000 watt quiet diesel generator. Nice enhancements in the front cockpit area of the Grand Tour for acoustic insulation. Also that patio side main entry door to the bus also locks into place to seal that out when you hit a certain mile per hour. We'll cover that also as we get towards the patio side. Flanking each side of the coach we include the chrome stylized mirror heads, the top two thirds of which are powered and heated, the lower one third including that convex parabolic wide angle technology. We then also tie in the side video camera monitoring system into each of these chrome stylized heads. That ties in nicely with the oversized capacitive 10.4 inch touchscreen color monitoring system as well as the rear view camera monitoring system all encompassing in that Rand McNally RV GPS for safe and easy routing navigation. We'll cover that as we get inside the cockpit of this 42QL. 
Again, this coach is on the Freightliner Maxim chassis utilizing inverted rail technology that provides the stronger front and rear axles. Because this is on the upgraded 45,660 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis, we still maintain nearly 5,500 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. But utilizing computer aided design and the design of our compartments compared to competing manufacturers, we still can include 196 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage, even after being reduced for this tailgate package that will cover alongside the patio side. So just an incredible amount of storage in the basement with this Freightliner Maxim chassis. Also over the recent years with the multi-million dollar investment in new e-coat technology, we can e-coat the chassis rails and all of the exterior cargo compartments of the 42QL utilizing the latest in e-coat technology. Of course, all of our compartment doors are lined and insulated. You'll find the larger 22 and a half inch tires with stylized aluminum wheels. We've also included an additional option which HWH has utilized for a few years. We include not only HWH automatic hydraulic leveling jacks, but we've also included on this coach HWH automatic air leveling. The beauty of that is that it allows for automated leveling in unlevel terrain, loose soils, or even when being off the grid RVing. So we have a combination of hydraulic automatic leveling as well as air leveling. The Grand Tour is an all electric coach, although we do include this 5.6 gallon LP capacity for exterior gas grill hookups. You'll see the automatic hydraulic leveling pump just forward of that. Again, this ties into the LPG Quick Connect that you'll find conveniently located on the other side of the RV. This being the only propane on board because we do have an all electric coach with a residential refrigerator package. We'll cover all of the electrical components here in a moment as we slide over and cover some additional basement storage in the 42QL. Atop here you'll find pass-through storage, but then the main pass-through storage off to the right includes this expansive steel-mounted slide-out compartment tray. Again, this provides lowered center of gravity performance and handling with the Maxim chassis, but we take this one step further and mount six maintenance-free absorbed glass mat deep cycle RV sealed coach batteries. Those RV sealed coach batteries are mounted in the cross rails of the chassis just underneath that slide out tray. Because they are maintenance free, there's no need for the coach owner to access those. We would only need those for servicing. Compared to wet cell batteries, we also provide then an extended warranty on those batteries compared to wet cell. But again, the six absorbed glass mat maintenance free batteries are what will power that residential refrigerator package through the investment that we make in the 2800 watt pure sine wave whole house inverter. We'll cover that in detail as we get inside, but this allows you to power all of your household appliances with the exception of the roof air conditioning system, the stacked washer and dryer, and the dishwasher directly off of those six AGM absorbed glass mat batteries, which are then replenished from the ZAMP solar system that we'll cover here in a moment, as well as shoreline power plug-in, generator usage, and then also as the coach is in transit off of the off of the alternator. We also invest in the upgraded Aqua Hot Hydronic Heating System. This provides continuous unlimited hot water utilizing a combination of the electrical element or diesel burner. It also is your primary heat source. The beauty of this version that we invest in compared to competing models is that it will power off of the electrical element when being plugged in, but it also runs off of a diesel burner which provides very quiet usage off of the top three quarters of that 150 gallon fuel cell just like the Cummins Onan 10,000 watt generator. So again, this provides your continuous unlimited hot water, your primary heat source as there is no furnace in the coach. But then we also have included the factory installed upgrade of the in-floor radiant heating system. The beauty of this is that even if you don't travel in cold climates, we can still program this for you so that you're able to have this turn on as you wake up in the morning or as you retire for the evening and then actually shut it off so that it's not competing with your air conditioning system. Winnebago also invests in glycol lines that are run utilizing computer-aided design in four inch increments to alleviate any cold spots compared to other manufacturers that use in-floor heating elements. 
We've also included the ZAMP 100 watt solar system, so it includes a 100 watt solar package up top on the roof. It also includes this quick port connection to add a portable solar alongside either side of the RV for tilt and panning towards the southern sky. We can also add additional panels permanently mounted up top on the roof because the coach will maintain a maximum of 400 watts of total solar technology off of this single controller. Here inside this compartment we also include resort cable connections as well as portable satellite connections. Although as we get up atop the roof of this 42QL we'll showcase for you the satellite technology. Of course we utilize LED lighting throughout the RV and we include the 12 volt powered shoreline cord for 50 amp electrical service. It also then includes this automatic surge guard with the automatic transfer switch. So again, we have that 50 amp shoreline service, which is sized to power everything in the RV simultaneously, as well as the Cummins Onan 10,000 watt quiet diesel generator that will replenish those six AGM RV batteries in addition to the solar, the 100 watt solar that's included that can be expanded up to 450 watts, but also off of the alternator for the Cummins ISL. You can see that beautiful beechwood palette with the 11 inch stainless steel valance package. Inside this compartment, all of your exterior utility hookups in one easy to access location. You'll also see a sneak preview to the multiplex Firefly wiring system for one touch seamless navigation of many components in your coach, utilizing that multiplex system that will cover throughout this educational orientation. So we do have a powered hose reel and also a dedicated city water input. We've also included then this innovative freshwater diverter valve. This allows us to divert the water off of your city water input directly to fill the 85 gallon freshwater capacity in the RV. So again, we can utilize a potable water hose here or the powered hose reel that comes with the RV just underneath this, the exterior wash station or shower. There you can see the exterior shower that does come with a flexible handheld shower head that allows you to start and stop the water both on the head as well as on the faucet to conserve water when off the grid RVing. Down below then we have that powered hose reel that's tied directly into that city water input. We include the oversized drainage hose along with the 90 degree elbow that allows you to drain the RV with a one person navigation because we have that elbow on the end of that expansive drainage hose. We include a paper towel dispenser, and then also just above here, the Santee flush. This is a black waste tank flush. Utilizing the non-potable water hose, after draining your black tank, we can then irrigate out that black tank and finish up the drainage of the coach, utilizing the gray water drainage to cleanse out that sewer hose. The coach does include 51 gallons of total black tank capacity and also 71 in the gray. Utilizing one-piece seamless rotocast tanks, we can oversize those tanks utilizing computer-aided design. Since they are seamless, we never tap into them except for the drainage and the input. We also include the True Level Holding Tank Monitoring System in which we invest in sonar sensors on the outsides of those one-piece rotocast tanks, as opposed to drilling through like other manufacturers which can potentially leak, corrode, or provide false readings over time. Here within this multiplex panel, we can lock and unlock all of the cargo doors turn lighting on and off, the 12 volt on-demand water pump switch, master lighting, start and stop the Cummins Onan generator system, three point leveling for the automatic hydraulic leveling, but then keep in mind we also have the air leveling. We can also check your holding tank levels because we've included the holding tank monitoring system on the inside as well as on the outside of the RV. Here you'll find the knife valves for the black tank and the gray tank as well as an integrated soft soap dispenser. We then also include whole house sediment filtration with that canister just off to the right. But what you'll find as we get inside the kitchen or the galley, we've also included water purification for drinking water inside the kitchen. Again, all of these compartments are handcrafted here in Forest City by Winnebago Industries utilizing computer-aided design so that we can expand the capacities 
provide that approximate 200 cubic feet of basement storage and provide one piece seamless rotocast tanks. There you can find the exhaust for that diesel burner component of the Aquahot Hydronic, the primary axle to the rear, but then we also have the ultra steer passive tag axle system. This provides a 12 degree change in that tag axle for a 17% reduction in turning radius. Because we then include the ZF independent front suspension, we get a true 60 degree of wheel cut inside this RV for the tightest in 40 three foot coach navigation in the industry. We also then to the rear include the side radiator technology to allow for fresh air intake, but then also for easier engine access. And we include V-Ride technology, which provides the stronger rear end tag axle so that we can actually provide a true 15,000 pound tow rating. You can see a beautiful shot here of the Beechwood premium full body base coat, clear coat automotive finish, along with the upgraded acrylic fabric window awnings. You'll see the chrome venting for the stacked washer and dryer. A nice shot here of that side radiator technology. To the rear then we have a beautiful one piece fiberglass end cap. We include integrated awnings which we'll showcase better as we climb atop the roof of this Grand Tour here in a moment. Integrated into that one piece fiberglass end cap up top we trim out the integrated awning package with that rear spoiler. We also then include the rear view camera monitoring system up top which does also include one-way audio. It ties in nicely with the rear docking lamps as well as the side video camera monitoring system of which is articulated by the turn signal or by dedicated input across any of the televisions so you have a virtual security system for the Grand Tour. As we work our way down then this beautiful one-piece fiberglass end cap You'll also find that we include a 15,000 pound factory installed tow package with a two inch receiver and a seven blade bargeman wiring harness. We utilize LED lighting inside the rear tail marker lenses. Also inside this front navigational system, we've also included now the Pressure Pro tire pressure monitoring system. The benefit to this is that obviously it provides tire pressure monitoring, but it also then is navigated through the front radio. We'll cover that as we get inside the cockpit. So again, performance and handling benefits to this coach. We do have the side radiator. We include the ultra steer passive rear tag axle, which turns that rear tag 12 degrees at speeds over 20 miles per hour under that speed. And then when in reverse, it locks out for better handling. It provides a 17% tighter turn radius in conjunction with that ZF independent front suspension. And then to the rear, we also include that V-Ride technology. Of course, leveling this coach, we have the automatic hydraulic leveling jacks and then also the HWH automatic air leveling system. And now as we zoom back and elevate up, unlike any dealership here in North America, we're going to cover all of the quality components atop the roof of what has become Winnebago's patented quality advantage that we've utilized for over 55 years. Just below the integrated awning package, we have this, a crowned one-piece seamless interlapped and interlocked one-piece fiberglass roof. A nice sneak preview there to the Colorado Carefree Paramount Lateral Arm Awning Package. It includes various presets we'll cover as we get down towards the patio side, but a 16 foot awning and a 19 foot awning in conjunction with the over the door awning provides for nearly 40 feet of total awning coverage. To the rear, working away from the rear to the front, we have a powered ventilator fan for the rear bath. We include the True Air Maximum Comfort AC system, which provides three 13.5 low profile ducted high efficiency air conditioners with two heat pumps and three condensation pumps. We actually tuck the cold air return for these behind six inches of ceiling insulation. We then run one continuous plenum of cold air return and one continuous plenum of forced air output, providing a quiet, whisper quiet technology that is within six decibels of the basement air conditioning that we've utilized here at Winnebago Industries for over 25 years that we were forced to go away from. We then take that one step further and pipe all of the water runoff to the rear where it drips on the ground. We include the ZAMP 100 watt solar package in which we can add additional panels, increasing the size up to 450 watts. Forward of that then we include the WineGuard Razor stationary automatic one touch high definition local off-air antenna system. 
We'll cover that also as we get inside. We have yet again another exhaust fan in the galley area. And then forward of that, we include several rubber whip antennas for AM FM stereo, the cup antenna for Sirius XM satellite radio. Also, this Grand Tour comes equipped with the factory installed WineGuard Traveler stationary automatic high definition satellite system currently configured for direct TV. However, we can retrofit that to DISH network. Also be sure to check out on our parts page on Litton.com an interactive multimedia satellite antenna finder and service tool so that we can pinpoint for you whether or not DISH network or direct TV is the right satellite setup for you. Now as we work our way back down towards the patio side, working our way from the rear to the front, you can see the power gear slide out mechanisms. We do paint the side of the slide rooms. Continuing on showcasing that nearly 200 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. To the rear we include dual chassis batteries. These are maintenance free batteries for starting the engine. We include the diesel exhaust fluid or DEF tank that does include a filler throat alongside the driver's side for ease of fill. We include several solenoid shutoffs just forward of the engine batteries as well as the rear exhaust. We include rear mud flaps, but also include a one-piece mud guard, which you'll currently see housed inside that front locker tray of this 42QL. As we continue along the patio side, we'll cover some additional outside specifications. The coach is 43 feet long, it's a wide body at 8.5 feet, and it's 12 feet 10 inches tall to the most standard feature atop the roof of the RV. Inside we include a 7 foot ceiling clearance because we do have the taller belt lines and taller ceilings but then we include that 6 inches of ceiling insulation to conceal all of the cold air returns from the air conditioners themselves to provide whisper quiet cooling. Again that's within 6 decibels of, of the audible levels from basement air that we've utilized for many years but we're forced to go away because of the size of RVs but also to make room for the EPA emissions which include this, the diesel exhaust fluid tank. Now as we work our way just beyond that ultra steer passive rear tag axle and the main axle, above here you'll find we've also included the factory installed upgrade of the exterior entertainment center. This includes an oversized 55 inch high definition television just above this, the tailgate package. This tailgate package is standard on the Ellipse Ultra as well as this, the Grand Tour. Included in the exterior tailgate package, we include a single burner induction range top, a stainless steel counter, refrigerator and freezer, a bottle opener, garbage bag holder, paper towel holder, cold water access port, a flexible water spout with shut off, a 15 foot coiled water hose, LED lighting, an additional 110 volt AC receptacle, an additional large storage area. Again, powering off of that 2800 watt pure sine wave inverter that we'll cover here in a moment. We can power all of your household appliances with the exception of the rooftop air, the stacked washer and dryer and dishwasher directly off of those six absorb glass map maintenance free batteries again which are replenished off of shoreline power generator usage the alternator from the powertrain the solar from the zamp 100 watt solar package but then we also include the cummins own an automatic generator start system feature in which we can program that to turn on in the event that you lose resort power or if you'd like it to reserve enough power in those six agm batteries to start the generator recharge them and then automatically turn the generator back off and of course, all of that we can comply with no generator hours. So if you're at a resort or park that has restricted generator hours, we can comply with that through the programming of it. So again, a great little tailgate package here, which provides versatile outdoor entertaining and grilling and cooking. And then just above here, we include that exterior entertainment center, which we'll showcase here in a moment. Continuing on, we include the balance of that 196 cubic feet of basement storage. We have several low point drains and also the winterization package inside this compartment. Off to the left there, you'll find fresh water and low point drains, the winterization kit, 
and then off to the right additional low point drains. Of course with one touch of a button we can control all of the lower exterior storage lighting. We can lock and unlock all of the compartments as well as the entry door utilizing one touch locks, the keyless entry or also the touchpad keyless entry that we include. Right alongside the entry door, we'll cover that here in a moment. Here you'll find several freshwater drainage locations as well as several low point drain locations. And then also this, the winterization siphon spigot. In the event that you do need to winterize your coach, be sure to check out our winterization video in our video library on Litson.com. Of course, we also staff live chat on our website 24 seven for questions in the operation of the RV. One of the beauties of working with Litson RV is that at the point of delivery, we do include a half day educational orientation with our master RVDA certified technicians in which we'll walk you through the coach in a scripted fashion covering every switch, every feature, covering what to do, what not to do. We cover maintenance, we cover warranty, and we invite you to stay right here in our resort here at Litson RV. And of course that educational orientation and RVing here at Litson RV is absolutely complimentary at no charge. That's in direct comparison to some of the competing RV dealerships that are out in America. Now as we slide over just forward of this compartment then we have the exterior storage compartment tray. Again that slides east to west. There you'll find the LPG hookup that we talked about on the driver's side. This is the exterior entertainment center upgrade. It features a 55 inch high definition television with an extendable and pivot mounting bracket and includes a home theater soundbar system and a wireless subwoofer. The beauty of this is that it ties into our HDMI matrix selection system. So with one touch of a button utilizing the handheld remote, we can switch from any of the televisions in the RV directly off of either of the satellite receiver locations, the home theater Blu-ray setup, or the whole house mode so that we can showcase Sirius XM satellite radio on any of the televisions. Again, this is that slide out tray that runs east to west out each location. You'll see also the one piece mud guard that we install as part of our pre-delivery inspection. This is also tiered storage. So underneath in between that location, we have lower storage with Tupperware storage container. And then also right inside the middle is where that sealed area is for the six absorb glass mat AGM batteries. Each of these parquet banquet doors then also include top and bottom lock latching with a very easy to access release alongside the left hand side. Sliding forward in this compartment we include the central vac system which includes a toe kick sweep inside for the polished porcelain. We also include the attachments for the central vac system so that you can vacuum out your compartments or your dinghy tow car. We include a quick port for ease of access of extension and 110 volt cords into this location because up top we have the 2800 watt pure sine wave inverter. So again, this central vac includes the ability to clean out the bag, but also hook up attachment points to vacuum out your compartments or your dinghy towed car. There's also an attachment access inside the RV, but also a lower level tow kick sweep. Just above mounted in the ceiling, again utilizing computer aided design so that we can free up additional basement storage, we mount this 110 volt outlet and 2800 watt pure sine wave inverter investment that we make for the high end electronics that we include in the Grand Tour and Ellipse Ultra. It preserves that clean power when navigating off of the six AGM absorbed glass mat batteries. Even though we do have a remote switch inside the step well for the auxiliary and chassis battery disconnect switches. We also have the inverter charger battery disconnect switch here that's included from the inverter converter pure sine wave manufacturer. But we do include that remote switch inside the step well. Again, this 2800 watt pure sine wave inverter allows you to power household appliances directly off of those six AGM absorbed glass mat batteries. Again, the other side of the dual fuel fill is located just forward of that. 
Inside the step wall, we have the largest entry door in the industry with an easy to access acrylic handle here that includes keyless touchpad entry for the entry door, but also for opening your compartment door locks. Off to the right there, you'll see a nice sneak preview to the Corian investment that we make in the step well. We have the upgraded quartz countertops inside the RV for all of the countertop locations, but you'll see we use Corian inside the step well and then also inside the shower surround. We have an electric over the door entry awning and then also the Colorado Carefree Paramount lateral arm technology for each of the awnings. We have different preset modes so you can extend this all the way. Currently we have just, just showcasing the entertainment area, but this fully extends. We have different presets that can be utilized. Of course, this includes a wind speed vibration sensor. LED lighting is included in all three of the awnings. A nice shot there of the frameless contour dual pane thermal insulated windows in which we upgrade to include a mini channel seal compared to other manufacturers that utilize frameless windows to alleviate wind wimp. And now as we jump inside the 42QL, you'll see we've ordered this factory fresh in the black tie interior. This is paired up with glazed honey cherry cabinetry, all hardwood cabinetry, which is manufactured utilizing computer aided design right here in Forest City, Iowa, so that not only can we increase interior storage with computer aided design, we can minimize tolerances in fit and finish, which long term will alleviate squeaks and rattles compared to competing models. This entire interior as we take one sweeping shot through this floor plan and then we'll cover things in more detail, was inspired and designed by a third party designer utilizing Villa Furniture, which is a high end residential interior upholsterer. One of our most successful diesel pusher floor plans because it does feature that, feature that residential armoire right at eye level with a lounge chair luxury seats and then also this the dual control ultra leather rest easy sectional sofa again a very popular interior with this black tie in conjunction with that bill of furniture and now as we wrap up with that one sweeping shot we'll cover each of the main living areas in detail up front here we include the luxury cab seats you can see each of the multiplex Firefly wiring just adjacent to this inside the step well. One touch lighting will control all of your interior master lighting. It will unlock your basement doors, lock the doors, provide interior lighting controls. It does also then include another three point leveling jack system. Underneath here we have controls for each of those Paramount awnings with different preset heights for different pitches and extensions of those awnings. Of course they include the motion sensor. And then down below we include auxiliary battery disconnect switches for the engine and for the whole coach for storage mode. Beautiful high polished porcelain tiles that you can see in detail right there. Each of these front seats feature the Villa luxury cab seats with an oversized passenger seat. Each of these seats feature six-way power, powered footrest, heat and massage, remote swivels with the VersaGlide power lumbar support. They recline and include adjustable armrests. What everybody raves about is this oversized extendable sectional sofa, which includes dual safety belts. It does include powered headrests. Each of those two sides recline at the touch of a button for a wonderful home theater setup. It then also converts into a 52 by 76 inch sleeping surface. Of course, we include the MCD American upgraded dual night and solar shades. The night shades or privacy shades being powered with the touch of that multiplex Firefly wiring system. You can see the oversized ottoman provides obviously an elevated foot position, but also an incredible amount of additional storage inside that ottoman. All of this being rested on that high polished porcelain tile. Opposite this area then is the recliner along with a pull up workstation and this the entertainment armoire which features the interior home theater premium sound system for the lounge and the bedroom. This then includes the oversized ultra high definition television on an articulating mount. We also include the premium home theater soundbar system with surround sound.
tucked behind here then is where we include a touchpad safe with an override key, additional storage, wine glass storage, or any type of versatile storage just behind that high definition television. Again, keep in mind all of this ties into the HDMI 4x4 Matrix Central Video Selection System located just above the passenger. So concealed behind your cabinetry, that oversized 50 inch 4K ultra high definition television then is LED and ties into that. For the Blu-ray home theater system or for adding any of the satellite locations which are available. Also then we include the electric fireplace that includes an adjustable thermostat and flame, a handheld remote, an electric timer with automatic shutoff. This provides a tremendous amount of heating for the entire home theater area. This home theater area then also including the one touch home theater surround so that at one touch of a button it will dim your privacy, it'll lower your privacy shades and dim the lighting for the home theater experience. A beautiful chair rail and wainscoting is continued throughout the RV. We also then include this, the pull-out flip-up table, which glides behind that electric fireplace. Again, this lightweight recliner can be moved anywhere inside the RV, and it reveals that beautiful framed-out chair rail and wainscoting. We continue with all of this expansive dual-pane thermal insulated glass. Again, it does include those powered nightshades. Again, with one touch of a button for home theater mode, it will drop those nightshades. It will dim the lighting and also provide that television for home theater mode. It also includes the hybrid of the dining table and buffet area, so it provides the perfect hybrid of additional storage with the quartz countertops behind and the honey cherry cabinetry for the tabletop. It features two permanent hardwood upright chairs with chair skirts and two hardwood folding chairs. This is also the glide and dine version, so it will lock in two inch increments in steel to provide additional space. So if it's just two people utilizing this glide and dine dining table and buffet setup, we can provide that table to move to provide additional clearance in front of that table. The beauty of that then is that it's right at arm length for that pullout island in this oversized L-shaped style galley or kitchen. Each of those drawers are full length extensions with metal drawer glides and also soft clothes drawer glides. Again, the Grand Tour being the exclusive to provide that gr gradual soft clothes drawer glides. Overhead then we have this, this expansive microwave and convection oven. It provides the exterior vented range and touch control with a stainless steel package. This allows us to bake, brown, and roast just like a traditional oven. In lieu of that space where that traditional oven would be, then we include the Fisher Paykel drawer style dishwasher with a coffee glazed honey cherry facade. Tremendous amount of storage overhead these quartz countertops. It includes the decorative backsplash. We do include the teak bamboo style sink covers because like kind properties on that quartz could potentially scratch. Just beautiful high polished quartz countertops. Again, this is that pull out island which is accessible at arm length for utensils, silverware and cutlery right at arm's length across from that glide and dine dining table and chairs. You can see the drawer style dishwasher which really provides a tremendous amount of place setting capacity off to the right there. Taking advantage of computer aided design, then we can include yet again another drawer underneath the dishwasher. Decorative accent LED lighting is included even down near the toe kicks. Of course, we include the induction cookware technology. This will not actually heat up until it senses that induction cookware, so a very safe setup, but this being an all electric coach, this will power off of the 50 amp electrical service, the generator, or that 2800 watt pure sine wave inverter. Just a tremendous amount of place setting capacity in that Fisher Paykel dishwasher. Off to the right then underneath the sink, we do include the water purification system. 
An oversized double bowl stainless steel sink is also included, which we'll cover here in a moment. You can see the beautiful LED accent lighting. Of course, everywhere throughout the RV, we do utilize LED lighting, which is 70% more energy efficient compared to normal incandescent or halogen lighting. A beautiful single control high rise stainless steel or satin nickel style gooseneck high rise faucet also includes a pull out sink sprayer for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. This is the oversized double bowl stainless steel sink. Off to the left end we include a soft soap dispenser. Multiple 110 volt electrical outlets are included throughout the galley area. Again, this shelving area takes advantage of computer-aided design, but is also on the back side of that exterior entertainment center upgrade, which features that oversized 55-inch exterior high-definition television. We continue on with the multiplex Firefly wiring system, so lighting controls for the galley, the lounge, accent lighting, the powered ventilator fan, and then also to control all of the front MCD shades. There you'll see the first of two baths, that being the half bath. This is the stainless steel residential refrigerator and freezer. This does include then the freezer drawer, water and ice dispenser. This functions off of electrical or the 2800 watt pure sine wave inverter off of those six absorb glass map maintenance free AGM batteries. And as we take a look at the adjustable bins and shelves, let's cover some specifications. The 42QL is actually 43 feet long. It's eight and a half foot wide, so it is a wide body. An exterior height of 12 feet, 10 inches. It includes that interior ceiling height of seven feet. We mentioned on the outside, 85 gallons of fresh water capacity in addition to the continuous unlimited aqua hot on demand hot water heat and source of primary heat. We include 71 gallons of gray tank capacity and 51 in the black. Again, we have a 15,000 pound factory installed tow package and actually 5,448 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. Just adjacent to this then, we have the oversized pantry and drawer stack underneath. Now the beauty of this pantry is it includes not only canned good and spice storage, but it also then reveals behind additional pantry space. So wonderfully thought through, utilizing computer-aided design here by Winnebago Industries. We have spice and canned good storage, and then it very simply exposes out for all of this adjustable shelving inside the pantry area. We also include roller drawers that come out. Again, full length extensions with metal drawer glides. We even trim the faces of those with coffee glazed honey cherry cabinetry. Then opposite this area, we do include the half bath. see the central vac tow kick down below. In one easy to access location, this is the one place panel inside the main hallway. Now this is really the brains of the setup. You can centralize the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system, check your holding tanks. You can control all of the lighting and the shades. It's also very intuitive and zoned down below between your living area, your bedroom, water systems, and then also for the coach components. Here you'll see inside the main living area controls for the lighting and the shades as well as the powered ventilator fan and one touch turn off of those lights. Great way to retire in the evening. Here inside the bedroom we have controls for the ceiling fan, master bedroom lighting. These are also duplicated inside the master bedroom. We have controls then for all of your systems for the bath including each of the vents. And then also whole coach controls, which includes controls for the slide out rooms. You can see the controls for the fresh water pump up in the upper left hand area. And then controls to lock the entry door, lock the cargo doors, extend the awnings, exterior lighting and controls for the slide outs. The cog or gear button provides setting access so that you can customize this for yourself. But the beauty of that heating, ventilation and air conditioning system is you can centralize that. 
Here also inside that setting screen, it will dictate and indicate what you're connected to. It has engine block heat, aqua hot preheat, controls for the Cummins own and automatic generator start system, controls for the inverter. You can set the time, the date, and also customize the wallpaper and brightness. It's also very intuitive, so if you don't know what one of those things are, on any of those screens, you can press the question mark button and it will give you an overview. Centralizing this, you can sync all of the zones so you can see the front, the mid, and the bedroom, as well as the basement. Controls for the radiant in-floor heating system off of that aqua hot system. You can also schedule that in-floor heat so that even though it seems like you might not need a heated floor, it's nice to wake up in that morning and to retire in the evening with a warm floor. Inside this master bedroom, then we include the interior upgrade package with designer pillows, some of which belong up front. But the beauty of this is we include two wardrobe closets with full foldable drawer stack access. You can see the high polished porcelain tile on a half drop pallet. The beauty of this is that we include the pneumatically adjustable True King bed. Now the reason why we point out that this is pneumatically adjustable is it's very comfortable for lounging. It's great in the event that one of the coach owners has a little bit of a sniffle. But the primary purpose is that it allows us to put in a true 80 inch King bed without sacrificing any of the storage at the foot of the bed which other competing manufacturers do. So we invest in this pneumatically adjustable bed so that we can control all of that additional storage at the foot of the bed. It also includes the upgraded natural reserve mattress on the ideal rest king bed for sleep chambers on each side. Of course, we include multiplex Firefly wiring controls overhead. You can see all of this additional wardrobe closet storage along with the upgraded lounge premium sound system. You can see some of the additional accessories that ship here with the RV, including the subwoofer. So we do include wardrobe closets on each side of the high definition bedroom television. This includes a 28 inch high definition television tying in nicely to that matrix HDMI cabling system pr to preserve high definition. You can see the sensor in the upper right hand corner there for the true our maximum comfort system. We include 12 volt and 110 volt charging. Here you can see the premium bedroom surround sound system. That is part of that same home theater premium sound package that was up front. We do include foldable clothing storage down below with full length extension drawer glides. And then the second of the two wardrobe closets. You can see the cookware accessories for the microwave and convection oven and several of the other accessories that ship with the RV. Door activated lighting is included for each of the wardrobe closets. Controls for the overhead ceiling fan, lighting controls, the ability to drop the bed or raise the bed from this or while laying on the bed, accent lighting, bedroom shades controls, and then also the ability to turn all of the coach lights off when you're getting ready to retire for the evening from this location. see all of the beautiful LED lighting with the decorative pictures and also decorative mirrors. Now inside the master bath we do include a porcelain residential height style toilet with an elongated bowl. Behind that cabinet we include the stacked washer and dryer. We continue with the quartz countertops and then just surrounding this area we include Winnebago's marketed big shower with a 30 by 42 inch shower that does include the Corian surround along with a teak mat and teak shower seat. It includes the upgraded satin nickel hardware for the flexible handheld shower head that allows us to start and stop the water both on the head as well as on the faucet to conserve water when dry camping off of the grid. 
This Corian shower surround also includes decorative inserts and a beautiful overhead skylight provides for indirect lighting as well as additional height clearance for our taller guests. We wrap all of this with the glass shower door. Again, we include that teak mat for easy cleaning that very simply removes to easily clean that shower. Again, we have the high polished porcelain radiant heated flooring, including the engine access cover also includes that radiant in-floor heating. We continue with the quartz countertops in this drop-in bowl, along with a satin nickel dual control lavatory faucet, which also includes that integrated soft soap dispenser. We do include then a slide out linen cabinet on the left hand side of this, along with three different mirrored medicine cabinets overhead. You can see the louvered areas for the stacked washer and dryer there off on the right. Overhead then we have the Max Air Premium Vent System. This includes the automatic temperature control for that powered ventilator fan, as well as the integrated rain hood so you can be away from the RV and know that watershed is not coming in. We also include that oversized linen closet there off on the left with adjustable shelving and then each of the controls for the multiplex Firefly wiring system. So again, this is off towards the patio side, the left-hand side of your master bath. Just to the right then, we include the stacked washer and dryer. This is the upgraded Splendid series, which features a dedicated washer and a dedicated dryer for maximum capacity. So again, up top here then, we do include the dryer component down below the washer. Again, this is that upgraded Splendid series. This will function off of the 50 amp electrical service or off of your generator. We continue with a decorative chair rail and wainscoting inside that master bath. You'll see that as soon as we close these hardwood coffee glazed cabinet doors. We frame out all of the dual pane thermal insulated windows with decorative hardwood glazed honey cherry cabinetry balances. This is the residential height style porcelain toilet with the elongated bowl. Now this is a vacuity assist electric flush so it provides a water saver mode as well as a power flush mode. We've invested in this type of technology because it includes that macerator technology and provides floor plan flexibility so we no longer are limited in placing the toilet directly over the gravity components of the black tank. Again, you can see the water saver mode on the left and the power flush on the right. Of course, we continue with the Firefly wiring system for controls for the lighting, the water pump, as well as that Max Air Premium vent system overhead. Again, beautiful high polished porcelain tile on a half drop. You can see a hardwood pocket door provides privacy to the master bedroom. Just up front here then we have the half bath in which you'll see like kind quality components even in this half bath. We include yet again another residential height style porcelain toilet with an elongated bowl which is also on that a vacuity assist electric flush. We continue with the quartz countertops, beautiful coffee glazed honey cherry balances around the MCD shades. We include yet again another mirrored medicine cabinet. We continue with the quartz countertops with beautiful inlaid tile surrounds for the backsplash.
You can see a single control satin nickel lavatory faucet with yet again another soft soap dispenser. We continue with the chair rail and wainscoting with additional storage and tissue dispenser. Storage then is included underneath those quartz countertops. Of course, we include all of the accessories such as towel bars, towel rings, the medicine cabinets, tissue dispensers, and soft soap dispensers. You'll also see the similar Tecma controls for the water saver flush mode or for a power flush mode. And then yet again, multiplex Firefly wiring controls for overhead lighting, the water pump, the vent, as well as aisle lighting. And now as we work our way up into the cockpit, we'll cover many different light duty automotive conveniences, but also exclusive quality components to the Grand Tour and Ellipse Ultra. This then is yet again, another Max Air premium vent system, which includes the rain sensor, also a privacy shade. You saw this as we were up atop the roof of the RV. A nice shot here of the continuous one piece plenum for cold air return and forced air output. So we don't have any of those cold air intakes for the air conditioners to generate any noise. Overhead inside the cockpit then, a full bank of overhead coffee glazed honey cherry cabinetry is included. Inside the cockpit then we also include the overhead skylight with a powered pleated blind to ensure that that solar doesn't come through. Overhead here then we have controls for the WineGuard Razor stationary automatic local off-air high definition antenna. This allows us to bring in your entire free local off-air high definition programming from inside the coach at the touch of a single button. We have additional slide out controls in the front or to the rear of the RV on that one touch panel that we covered. So again, we have those front slide out controls conveniently located just inside your entry door or also on that one place panel in the rear. Off to the right then, this is the entertainment armoire that I referred to with louver doors down below to eliminate any heat buildup. We include the Blu-ray home theater surround sound system and two different locations for high definition satellite receivers or DVRs. This also then includes that matrix HDMI cabling system with infrared extenders so that we can control that from the outside entertainment area, the master bedroom or the main living area. And then here the Samsung Blu-ray home theater surround sound system that actually feeds the audio for that premium lounge entertainment surround sound system. Again, this is that skylight with that powered shade. That powered shade is controlled by the driver inside the cockpit area so that in transit, if that sun is coming down, you don't have to worry about the solar penetrating the coach. Again, these are the Villa Luxury Cab Seats, which features the driver and oversized passenger seating with six-way power, powered footrest, heat and massage, a remote swivel, powered lumbar support. They also recline and feature adjustable armrests. You'll see additional fire, fire controls here for the driver side shade system, the windshield components for day and night. It also controls for the lock for the entry door, which is accessible from keyless entry or the touchpad numeric code on that acrylic handle. Controls for the step cover, the powered mirrors, the Allison transmission. We have controls for the battery boost as well as the powered adjustable pedals controls for the LED docking lamps, which really provide a tremendous amount of light as you enter your area in the resort. We also have illuminated cup holders and then controls off to the right for the HWH air leveling system or for the HWH automatic hydraulic leveling system. The beauty of that HWH air leveling system is it includes its own manifold, which will recalibrate every 30 minutes. So as your occupant load or the load to your coach changes, or as you bring slides in and out, it'll automatically keep the coach level. Just above here then we have controls for the tag axle, which is automatic if you'd like it to be. We have the iWatch for the mobile eye collision avoidance system. We'll cover that here in a moment. Controls for the air horns, mirrored heat, the ability to power that infotainment center off of the engine or the house batteries. 
auxiliary LED lighting for the front as well as daytime running lamps, the three-stage exhaust brake, we have controls for the defroster fans and then also controls for that overhead skylight. We wrap all of this with the instrument panel applique package. The beauty of that mobile eye collision avoidance system is that it does include the front camera system. It includes the iWatch, but it's also controllable from the infotainment center. The mobile eye collision avoidance system does include bicycle and pedestrian collision alerts, highway monitoring, high beam controls, lane departure warning, speed limit indication and alerts, speed limit sign recognition. It's also controllable inside this, the oversized 10.4 inch capacitive touchscreen monitor for the infotainment center with Rand McNally RV GPS. It does include split screen capability, controls for the side and rear view camera monitoring system, which are also articulated by the turn signal column. Amenities and tools, safe and easy routing, trips and content, turn by turn voice guidance, steering wheel and handheld remote controls. It includes Sirius XM satellite radio, a compass, outdoor temperature gauge. It includes Bluetooth connectivity to pair up your smartphone or tablet for not only hands-free calling, voice guidance, or to listen to any of your downloaded music or audio apps such as Pandora, Radio App One, or Stitcher. It also includes whole house mode so that we can now power that off to the three televisions inside the RV. There you can see the camera for the mobile eye collision avoidance system. Also integrated into the coach, we include the Pressure Pro tire pressure monitoring system, which is integrated into that infotainment center up front. We can also add additional sensors for your dinghy tow car. A great shot there of the Villa, Lux Villa Luxury Cab Seating System. You can see the additional 110 volt and 12 volt outlets which are conveniently located for the passenger. And then finally the last of the multiplex Firefly wiring setups, controls for master lighting, controls for exterior security lighting, controls for the passenger side shades, the windshield and day and night mode for controls from the passenger or the driver, as well as overhead lighting. You'll also find a second monitor which is controllable also for the passenger. You can actually utilize different inputs on each of the monitors. So a tremendous amount of versatility for high-end electronics. Of course, all of this is covered in the half-day class that we provide at no charge to our guests. What everybody raves about on our Google and Facebook reviews, that half-day educational orientation in which we literally will walk through this entire coach covering every switch, every feature. We cover what to do, we cover what not to do. We cover maintenance and we cover warranty all at no cost to you, utilizing 100% of our RBDA Master Certified Technicians. So as we take one last sweeping shot towards the rear of this Grand Tour, I wanna to take this opportunity to thank you for visiting Litson.com and for the opportunity to unveil for you Winnebago's flagship diesel pusher, this, the Winnebago Grand Tour 42 QL, identical to our Ellipse Ultra that we also offer here at our dealership. The two are identical. This flagship diesel pusher is available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago, Itasca, and Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries right here in Forest City, Iowa and recently named by the manufacturer, Winnebago Industries, as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all three divisions, the Winnebago, Itasca, and Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award now for back-to-back -back consecutive years. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect that Cummins ISL power plant in accordance with the way Winnebago Industries and Cummins outline inside their owner's manuals, in which there certainly is a definitive break-in procedure, in which they recommend, if possible, no towing for the first thousand miles, and varying your speeds to break in and seat those cylinders in that Cummins ISL, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle. Be the first to break in that Cummins ISL, be the first to sleep that first night in your Grand Tour, and be the first to eat that first meal in your investment here at Litson RV. 
Thank you for visiting Litson RV here in Forest City, Iowa, the home of Winnebago Industries. I'm Ron Litson, and I want to thank you for visiting our dealership, the nation's closest dealer to Winnebago, Itasca, in the Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries here in Forest City, Iowa. Here are some great points from all of my sales staff and my team as to points unrelated to price why you should choose Litson RV. New motorhomes from Litson Motors have no delivery miles on them. We do not use delivery services like other dealers in which drivers live in the RV during transportation or tow their own personal vehicle during the crucial engine break-in period. There are no additional fees for purchasing in the state of Iowa, as customers will pay their tax title and license in the state that they title their RV. We do, however, assist in titling your RV in your home state. As you can see, we help people day in and day out all over the United States and Canada with titling their motorhome. Due to our close proximity to the Winnebago factory, we're able to take advantage of cost savings over other dealerships. This allows us to provide you with low, no hassle pricing. We offer a free thorough walk around with our guests at the time of delivery, where we take as much time as needed for our guests to understand every function, maintenance and warranty item of their RV. Many dealers charge a significant sum to provide this service. Here at Litson Motors, we offer our guests the opportunity to stay on our lot where you have access to free Wi-Fi, filtered fresh water, and electrical service, whether you're taking delivery of a new RV or just stopping by for service. We work with several different lenders in order to get you the most competitive rates and terms. Plus, we offer bi-weekly payments which can save you thousands over the course of your loan. Purchase and service your Winnebago or Itasca from Litson Motors, the nation's closest dealer to the Winnebago, Itasca, and Winnebago Touring Coach Division of Winnebago Industries. We look forward to providing you the best of class service that our guests throughout the country have come to expect from Litson RV.